If you guys have ever wanted to get involved in Canva, but you're a little intimidated, let me help you work through some of those struggles. My friend reached out to me and asked me to help her figure out how to create a design. She sent me the design. So I'm gonna show you guys what we're gonna work on recreating inside of Canva. All right, so this is what canva.com looks like, right? Yours is probably a white screen. I like the blacked out effect thing. So this is Canva. We are gonna go to the top right hand corner and we're gonna go over to create a design. What I did was I typed in invitation and then we go for uh, virtual this one because it's more tall than wide. So it's gonna give you like the, it's gonna give you this thing, right? So I clicked on that and it pulled this up, specifically this, it was a blank document. So this is the design that she is wanting help to recreate in a way. Now, I do wanna say she found this online don't go copying people stuff, you know, like don't rip people off like that. L let's make something like this, okay? <laughs> I'm gonna move this down here. I'm gonna use this top document as our thing. So the first things first, right? We're gonna change this white background to black. And that's gonna give us our first like step in the right direction. So I'm gonna click on the canvas screen, right? And this top toolbar thing here, it's gonna show you a white box. Now this white box, we're gonna click on that and it's gonna bring up the color like selector thingy <laughs> we're gonna go down to default colors we're gonna pick black if you're looking for a color that's not in their default colors you can click on this and it's gonna show you like the whole rainbow of stuff using this little radio slider thing you can adjust around the rainbow and then just drag and drop wherever you want but we're just going for black so here we go we've got a black background now the next thing is the let's party script font. In order to add this, we're gonna slide on over to the left hand side, we're gonna click text, and that is going to bring us the text section. Now, I did say that that let's party is a pre-done font combination, and these sometimes are reserved for the pro account, and you know that it's for the pro account because it has like the little star, or not star, the little crown on it. But let me show you, ooh, it's not, nice. Okay, so here's the sparkle, and it's actually free on for like everybody. So if you click that, it'll drop that text on here. So now they have Let's Party. That's that, that, that's that, that's literally that. So we're gonna need to move this up here, right? So we've got Let's Party, now there's, is definitely a lot brighter. You can make adjustments to this. You go up to effects and then you can see like the intensity thing. You can bounce this thing up or down and that's going to change the, I guess this would be like the, the neon gas part to either be the color that you're wanting it to or to be white. So I'm gonna adjust that down and then the glow thing itself, right? That is going to be, oh, what is that? Okay, I, I feel like you can change that glow. I feel like it should've been, not there. They should, nope, not show. Well, I guess you could technically create a better like a more intense thing with this so okay let's go with that and then copy and paste and then we'll bring in the neon because we'll do a little bit of a white Move this over some. Can I not use the right thing? I feel like that makes a difference. Like it's it's subtle, but like it's a difference, right? I believe so. I don't like how white that is though. Let me change intensity here. Okay, that's fine. So we'll stretch this out, right? And 
I'm going to make some adjustments to these two letters because I don't like how much space is in between that T and that S. So we're going to select the, the, the T and the S and we're going to do letter spacing. That's better. Except for now, that apostrophe is weird. Okay. Now let's, let's take out that S. We'll leave that. And then I'll just drop... So copy, paste that so that it keeps, it maintains the same settings that we had, right? So we got the S and we'll move that in there. So now the T and the S are connected and that looks good. I'm cool with that. All right. And I'm going to take out the S there. Then we'll just copy and paste this and bring in an S. So now we've got that and it's now touching. So that's, that, that's basically all that I want to do. They definitely leaned into the white a little bit more than what's I am. That's fine. It almost looks like they kind of outlined it a little bit, but we're, we're fine. We're fine. Let's just move on. All right. So we've got this party. What they have now, we've got gold glitter effects. In order to find the gold glitter effects, right, we're going to slide on over to the left hand side. We're going to go over to elements and I'm going to type in gold glitter. Let me filter by free. Let's see if we can find some good glitter things. Ooh, that's nice. But not quite what they had. So theirs is more stars. I like this. Uh, maybe this. Nope. Gold glitter stars. Possibly. Ooh, that one. All right, so we're gonna take out this. And we'll use this corner, but I don't want it in the corner. So I'm going to rotate it using like the handles and we'll just stretch this out like that. We will send it to the back. And let me move duplicate. Rotate on the bottom. Nope. Send this all the way to the back. Send it to the back. Grab this. Let's party up here. We need to add in some finer glitter. So I guess. No, I don't want that. All right, so let's go back to just gold glitter. Mm. It's a little stressful, but it's fine. It's fine. Let's live for the stress. Oh yeah, I didn't like that one. Um, what's this one? No. No. Not that. Okay, so that's that's better. That's better like not quite what I had in mind but like that's fine I mean it doesn't have to be exact it it shouldn't be exact we're just going for like a vibe so I'm actually gonna take out these oh not that I'm gonna take out these we're gonna bring this up here it's gotta be I don't want it I don't want to take it out okay Oh man. Um I'm gonna go for a gold glitter fall. Alright, so I know that I don't like this. I know that I don't like that one. But I I might end up having to go with that. Okay, so, but when you click on one of these things, right, you can see that there's, like, it, it pulls out, like, little magic recommendations, or you can also click on that and then see more like this. So, let's see if we could find some ones that are free, because I, we got it, we got to use the freeze, we got to use the freeze. Alright, magic recommendation is not helping. 
Not when I'm trying to keep it free. Alright, so then, no. Actually, that's not bad. Alright. I'm gonna make another page so that I can keep some of this stuff in case, in case I need it again later, you know? So we're gonna bring this up. That seems so chaotic. I feel like this video is super chaotic anyways. So, I, I mean, it, it's all part, it's all part. We're gonna take that out. I don't like it. I don't, I don't like that as much, but I can. <gasps> oh, actually, you know what? Mm, that's what we're gonna do. We are going to, we're just gonna, we're gonna pop this in the corner. And we're just gonna do that. So you'll be, you'll be a little corner moment and that's fine. Maybe take you guys out. Ooh, and maybe not have this little straggler all the way down here. Cause that's just weird. And okay. And then duplicate that by control C control V right click. We're going to flip. Where is flip? Oh, uh, hit right here in the toolbar flip horizontally. So now we're going to move that. You know what? Don't flip horizontally. We're going to flip vertically and then we're going to rotate it. So then it's not the same thing bumping up against each other. Yeah, we're good. Maybe. Mm, yeah. Yeah. Cause the, now, now the thing, it could, it, it could go up there. That, that'll be nice. That'll be nice. All right. So we've got that. I'm going to get a black gradient in the background. So let's go black faded gradient. Gradient. Mm, this. Can this go darker? Yes, it can. And now we will send, we will send this to the back. So we'll hit control and then the the blocky, blocky, the <laughs> these things, the blocks, you know. So the left block bracket will send it to the back. So control and then that left bracket all the way to the back behind there. So it can be, you see how in the top left there on the screen, you can see like it's kind of darker. So we'll put that back there. I don't think that that did anything. <laughs> did, it, did it not do anything? I don't think it did. All right, so we'll just make this a little bit bigger so that we could kind of hide. It's not doing anything because it, I went too far back. There, that's better. That's better. Cause now I wanted these ones a little bit darker. So this needs to come all the way to the front. So control and then the right bracket will bring all that to the front. So now we got that. So we've got let's party. Now we need regular text to start putting in our different information, right? So this looks like, I think it's Calibri or even Caviar. All right, so we are gonna go to the left-hand side, click that text. We are going to scroll up to the top. Actually, let's take a look through We're going to drop in this dapper because that premium quality goods looks like we could use that. All right, we'll take this out, take this out. Now we got premium quality goods and I feel like that is fine for this information down here. I'm going to bring in some lines. Mm, not there though. Lines are going to be here. Line. This line. Mm.
let's go up here. Let's bring in that box. I think that box would look nice for the the address. But I don't think I want the top half of the box. I think I'm only gonna take the bottom half of the half of the box. So double clicking that lets us adjust this. And now we just have the bottom half of the box. Yes. We'll do one, two, three address here. City state zip. Right? Yeah, maybe the phone number. And then three eight six one two three four five six seven. We will center this. So selecting all of that, we are going to align it in the center. We're going to adjust the height of all of this. So going up to spacing in that top box thing. So like the three lines with like the arrows, we're gonna go to spacing. We're gonna go to line spacing to kind of bring these things closer together. And we're gonna do some letter spacing just to give it a little bit of breathing room. I'm fine with that. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go with a copy and paste so we can put in, please join us to celebrate. Please join us to celebrate. I'm actually going to bold this by hitting that. We've got space this out. Why? So I ended up not liking that box. So we took the box out. Also, it's another day. I'm sorry. This is already chaotic. Just, it'll be okay. It'll be okay. Um, so this, this is, this is basically where we left off yesterday, right? And then this is where I ended up being, because I continue to work on it because I've got problems and stuff like that. So this is where we're headed. This is the direction that we're gonna head in. I'm going to show you guys how to get from here to here. So the first thing we need to do is get more of this, please join us, let's celebrate text on the screen, right? Because I like this font. So we're just gonna copy and paste and we're gonna bring that and I'm gonna move this back there. So we've got, I need to have the address. So I'm going to one, two, three, address, street, city, state, zip. I'm gonna use the hot dog sliders and we're gonna move that out. And I had a phone number there. So then we're going to add phone number and we're just gonna move this down all right so the next thing we need is this Monday October 31st 8 p.m. text but we also need to put in those lines right so coming back up to the main document I'm gonna go over to the left hand side and we're gonna find elements now they have shapes right underneath that they've got shapes so we're going to click twice on the, the, the line shape. And now we've got two lines that we can bring in. I need to make this text a little bit smaller because it just is too big. I'm gonna center that. And then we're gonna bring this line down. I'm going to rotate this until it's 90 degrees. And we also need to make this a lot smaller. Back to the 90. I, I am not dealing with that. Okay. Why, why do you keep doing that? Shorten it up. Now it's at a 91 degree angle. Why is the angle weird? Let's just let's zoom in. See if that solves our problem. No, it doesn't. Why is... Alright, we're just gonna copy, paste, and then try it one more time. 
to the 90s. Using that top circle, just bringing, bringing it right down. 90, right there. Great. Glad that we're on the same page now. I'm going to make that a little bit smaller. And I'm going to group those lines by selecting both of the lines and then control G. And then we're just going to slide this over for a minute. I need to get this text on board again. And it needs to be Monday. Actually, no, this was October. Using the hot dog. Just fixing the frame around the text so that it's not super crazy and super long. Adding text. What else did I have in here? I'm out of time. That's right. I'm fine. And then 9 p.m. Adjusting those little hot dog handles. Making this bigger. Not bold. It doesn't need to be bold. These also don't need to be bold. I'm going to select October the 31st and then, yeah, October 31st. We're going to center this. So position on the top toolbar and then, oh, there it is centered. Nice. So we've got that centered. So we're going to grab everything here, control G. So now this entire section is one piece. Actually, no, because this, I don't like how much space is here. That seems weird. Go to the spacing button in the tool text bar and we'll work on the letter spacing. And then make adjustments. That nine. The nine is not gonna work. So we will copy that nine. Make it larger. I don't like it. I don't like that either. <laughs> so, I do, because that looks just as bad. All right, we're just, th this is fine, this is, this is fine. So group all of this, not the top part, just this text here. Control G, we're gonna center this, zoom out. What else do we need to have? We need to have Sarah's birthday, that gold strip with the black and the 21, and then I need to bring in that gold orb glow thing in the background so let's go ahead and get the glow orb and then the bar across so to find the glow orb we're gonna go to the left hand side and we're gonna go over to elements and we're gonna type in gold gradient orb Oh, I need to filter this down to the free. Right here. This definitely seems like that's not right. I guess you could click those graphics because that gold just is not going to cut it. So, underneath graphics, what exactly is this? Circle shadow or round shadow. I don't know if this is going to pop up because I've been searching for things like this. So if this does not automatically pop up for you guys, look for round shadow or circle shadow. I'm going to bring in round shadow and then change the color from here. We're gonna go for that gold, lighter gold, and then make this much larger. I don't think that was the right one. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. To get this box thing here, we need to type in gold foil because I want that strip. So back over to elements and typing in gold foil. 
I used this to find it just type in gold gold foil elements and it should bring it up so I add that to the screen and then we need this we need to stretch this out to where it goes the width of the canvas in order to shrink the, the, the thing we're going to double click inside of this and it's going to allow us to access the, the, the box constraints for this thing. So you see the little uh, picture frame brackets. We are going to use those and we're just going to drag it down until it's about that size. Honestly, that might even still be too small. So just a little bit more. And then I need to bring in a solid black box to go across it for our text. So back on over to elements, underneath the shapes, we're just going to hit that box and it will drop this in. Using the hot dog transforms, we're going to bring this down. I need to change the color to black and then stretching this out, not all the way. Doesn't need to be that crazy. I'm going to zoom in a little bit because I don't need it that small. Now we can add our 21 and then the name and the birthday. So using this font one more time. Copy and pasting that text box. We're going to do all caps on Sarah. Need to be apostrophe S. Sarah's Sarah. Not keeping the bold, so we'll italicize. Also, that doesn't need to be bold either. So make that italic. Copy paste. And then birthday, adjust the box around that. And now we need to bring in the text. Actually, I need to make this come down some more. Copy and pasting that text box so we can add in our 21. Now the 21, I need it big, I need it bold, and then I need an outline around it. No, shadow. I need a shadow behind it. So we got 21. We're going to adjust the letter spacing in between this. And then we're going to hit effects. And we are going to use the styles on the left hand side and we're going to hit shadow. And I'm going to adjust the offset because I don't want it that far away. And we're also going to adjust the color on this. So we're going to make this black. And then I'm going to adjust the transparency on this. I'm going, I need to move all of this text down. Grouping all of these items together so that this moves in one. So we've got Let's Party. I need this glow to be brighter. And I also added those same stars from above down below. So let's copy those oh, and paste them on the document again. We're going to make this smaller.
That's close. That's close. Oh, this was this was terrible. This was chaotic. This was this was this was this was what it was. This was what it was. And if you guys are interested in me recreating some other designs that you guys find, let me know in the comments below and I would be happy to put together some more tutorials like this. If you guys are interested in slightly more put together Canva videos, be sure to check out this playlist here. 